So now we're going to measure the target. Now doing this is so easy, I'm going to do it with my right hand because I'm left-handed. I'm going to do it with one eye closed. You get the picture. Important things to keep in mind. You want to click here and push down. The other important thing to keep in mind is that you want to make sure that this part of the target, or this part of the device rather, starts on white when you click down and ends on white when you click up. If you notice over here, I didn't do it right and I got the red square, so let's do it again. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to release. Now if you take a look over here, what's happened is it's moved to the next target. And again, I'm going to hold down on the white, click down, and go across. And then once I pass it, ending on white, and do exactly the same thing again. Now we've done the first part of the calibration. You see how all of these here are now highlighted? I'm going to click Next. So now that we've measured the first test target, what we're going to do is create the second test target. So what's going to happen is the software is going to take a look at what we've just me measured and then create a second test target which we're going to print out. So let's take a look at how to do that. I hit Next. Now we have our print second test chart. We're going to hit Print, Continue, and again we're going to make sure that everything is set up the way we want it to be set up. Now what's going to happen is, that, is the printer is going to print the second target that we're now going to measure. And what that's going to look like is it's going to look like this. So if you notice, there are two different targets. This target created this target. The measurements from this target created this target. So now, let's click Next. And what you'll see when it comes up is it will, you'll get this clock that will help you um, take the appropriate amount of time to dry it, but since we've already done this, we can click Skip Drying Process and then go to Next. Now we're going to do exactly the same thing with the device that we did before. Now we're going to click Next. We have an opportunity here to rename it if we want. I am going to leave it with the name that it has. Actually, let me take care of that, which is Epson Epson or uh, Velvet, let me change that to Velvet Fine Art, which would be V. So Epson Velvet Fine Art 2880 and the date. Hit Save. So now the software is going to generate a profile. We're generating a specific profile made for a specific paper for a specific printer, which will give me the best possible print. Now the profiles that come with the printers that you buy are okay to good. These are great to exceptional. It's that little bit that makes those prints sing, and that's why we're doing this here. Now, keep in mind, I have plenty of other calibration devices that I use when, I, when I'm in the studio. But when I'm in the field, the device that I always bring with me is the, is the Color Monkey. Why? Because I can profile my monitor, I can profile a projector, and most importantly, I can make a printer-specific profile in the field for the printer that I'm working on. So, with that said, let me show you the rest of the software and then we'll move into making an optimized profile. All right, so now that we've hit save and the pro, we're going to hit save, which we've done. We're going to hit next, and I have a choice. I can set this up so that these applications will always go to this, but I'm not going to do that. I'm, I'm going to, because I'm going to use multiple papers, I'm just going to leave that, that box uh, blank. I'm going to hit finish, and here I am back to my printer dialog box. It's fairly straightforward. So now let's take a look at optimizing a profile for a specific print. In this instance, we're going to optimize for a black and white print. We are going to create the profile that, cre that was used for this print. We're going to take the profile that we just made and we're going to optimize it for black and white. Now, Why is that important? It's a black and white print. Why do I have to worry about color? Why do I have to worry about any form of calibration whatsoever when it comes to working in black and white? If it matters anywhere, and don't get me wrong, calibration is the most important thing that you can do to your monitors and creating profiles to have the whole system calibrated. But if it matters anywhere, it matters most with regards to a black and white image. Because anything that contaminates the color changes the gray. If it's a little magenta, 
that gray is no longer neutral. If it's a little blue, that gray is no longer neutral. So where it matters most is in black and white. The thing to keep in mind is that when you're making a black and white image, what you're actually doing is printing a color image using a monochromatic scale that is the color gray. So let's take a look at how to create an optimized profile, in this instance, optimized for printing black and white. We are going to click Profile My Printer. Again, we're going to click Choose the Printer, which is our, in this instance, the 3800, which I've named Ernst Haas. And we are going to name this Epson. B W V F A 2880. Now we're going to select Optimize Existing Profile. We're going to choose Printer Profile. And the one that we're going to choose is Epson VFA 2880, the one that we've just created right here. And now we're going to select Load Image. Now I've put the image on my desktop, which is this image right here, the one we just looked at. See it? and we're going to hit next. What's going to happen is we're going to get a profile that is generated using the colors. And let's zoom in on that so you can see it. You see how it's now using the colors that it derived out of the file. Again, we go to print, continue, and we set up our dialog box, making sure that everything is correct. Once we've done that, let's say we have, we hit print. It will now print the profile. So now the software is going to create another target using the measurements that we, of the profile that we created from the other two targets based on the image that we asked it to compare. And what that target is going to look like is it's going to look like this. Because you can see it's all grayscale, and this target is based off of the image that we asked it to measure. So we're going to now optimize our profile specific to the, to the print at hand on the paper and the printer that we want to use to print it. How we're going to do that is we're going to hit Next. And once it's printed, we're going to go through that clock again. We can hit skip because we've already done it. And as you can see, we get the same target back up here. And I'm now going to measure it. Now that we've done that, let's hit next. It's going to ask me to save it. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add BW for black and white and hit save. The software is going to create a profile, and it's then going to save that profile, and that will be the profile that I will use to create the print that I just showed you. That's it. It's pretty straightforward stuff, and it's pretty simple. It's far more scary to think about it than it is to actually do it, and the quality of the images that you get once you do it are worth the entire price of admission and the small amount of time that it takes to create the profiles that you need to create the prints that you've always imagined and envisioned.